All right. So, you know, next discussion, uh, conceptual discussion on Gauss law. Now, you know, when you do this uh, Coulomb's law, which helps you to find electric field, there is a way of looking at it. And the way of looking at Coulomb's law is you're given a charge distribution. Could be one charge, two charges, could be a semicircular ring, could be a line charge in which you have to apply complex integration, which is a headache. And then using this, you try to find electric field and say, okay, given the electric, uh, sorry, the charge distribution, the electric field would be like this, you know, because it is made up of resultant of uh, numerous electric fields due to multiple charge system. If it's a single charge, you can find the electric field due to a single charge also. But in the case of Gauss, this is not the way of looking at things. The way of looking at things in Gauss law is reverse. In Gauss law, this is the way we look at it. We know what is the electric field pattern in the you know, surrounding area of the charge. And by looking at the electric field pattern, we try to decipher or infer what is a charge that is producing this electric field. So the thinking is just reverse. More to come in my next video.